What is up guys, it is your boy Omar Does Things and I'm back with another video. Today in this video, I'm gonna be giving you guys my helmet setup that I have for my senior year, playing running back and outside linebacker. If you do enjoy the content on my channel, make sure to subscribe down below. And of course, leave a like to let me know what you guys think of the video. Thank you to all the new subscribers and all the supporters. Let's keep growing ODT Nation and let's get the 4,000 subscribers coming very soon. The reason I am making a video on my helmet is because I want to show you guys some attachments I have on my helmet. If you guys are looking into what mouthpiece you wanna get for your helmet or if you want to get a visor for your helmet, things like that. I want to make this video just so you guys know before we're going out and buying different things for your helmet. Let's get into the breakdown. Every year we always get helmets provided by our school. If you guys are playing for a football team for your school, you guys also get helmets provided by your school. So the helmet I got this year was a Riddell helmet and I think it's actually the flex version. There's different versions of the helmet. I know every single year they give out, you know, either newer versions of the helmet. Also on the side of the helmet, you guys know that if you play, you know, middle school ball, depending on what team you play for, you obviously have to put in your own chin strap, but high school, college, anything like that, you guys will realize that obviously your helmet just comes with a nice chin strap. If you are looking to either buy a helmet or get a new helmet, you guys can see that these are great with padding the inside. Very, very, very snug fit when you put the helmet on by itself. I wear a size large and it is a very snug fit on my head for a size large. Not really much moving around tighten up my chin strap and you guys obviously don't see my head moving around too much very very good snug fit on the Riddell speed my first attachment I put on my helmet which I do do every single year when we start the season usually when it starts to get a little bit colder outside I don't usually have a visor on when I'm playing in the summer just because it's really really hot this year since the season got pushed back I did decide to put my visor on and actually the visor I'm currently wearing is the Under Armour visor there's different visors there's not just Under Armour, you have, you have Oakley visors, Under Armour, and then different brands. Nike also has a visor. All of these different brands, you guys can get visors. The reason I go with Under Armour for my visor is because it's very, very easy to take off and put on. You guys can see with the Under Armour visor, there's these clips right here. You get clips on each side of your helmet. These clips, you just unscrew and it just takes off the visor. You unscrew, pull your visor out. So say if you have a game and it's raining and you don't know it's gonna be raining before the game, all you have to do, unclip the visor, take it off and you'll be okay and ready to go. I'm not sure the price point for these visors. They might go from 45 to $50 for each visor just so you guys do know if you're going out to your sports store to buy them. I actually cop this visor from Dick's Sporting Goods and I know you guys can get them from any sports store around you or you can order them offline. My go-to visor is always going to be the Under Armour visor. I did wear the Nike visor back in middle school. Honestly, the Nike visor, you have to use screws. So you uh, have to basically have a screwdriver with you to unscrew it. So don't always suggest that, but it's all up to you guys. Last year, I did add this mouthpiece on in the middle of the season. So I forget what I had the first half of the season, but I wound up adding the battle mouthpiece from Dick's Sporting Goods. I did get it probably, I would say mid-season and I paid about $25 for this mouthpiece. You guys can go pick this up if you want to. The only reason I highly suggest you guys getting the battle mouthpiece is when I used to play weight ball, I would have to like mold my mouth to a mouthpiece. With this mouthpiece, it literally comes that you could just, and not have to do any molding. It's very, very easy to just strap on your helmet, put it in your mouth, and it's just ready to go. I highly suggest you guys get any battle mouthpiece. People don't have to get binky mouthpieces. I know some people care about how the mouthpiece looks. This is my whole helmet setup for my 2020 year as a senior. I'm gonna be having my visor in, of course. Playing running back, I wear my visor just so fingers don't get in my face mask, anything like that. Also, I'm gonna be rocking with this same mouth guard the whole season. I'm gonna be using the Riddell Flex Speed again. I think that's the proper name for it. This is all my personal preference. If you guys have any suggestions down in the comments below for any video ideas, please let me know. All of these items should be accessible or available at your local sports store. If not, always feel free to order them online if you guys are looking into getting any new mouthpieces and new visors. Or honestly, I know some people on my team get new helmets every year. So it's all up to you guys. Let me know any future video ideas. If you do enjoy the channel, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Of course, stay tuned for new weekly content. Let's keep growing ODT Nation. 4,000 subscribers coming very, very soon. Then your boy Armor does things, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.